There is one copy ability in Kirby in the Forgotten Land I feel like we don't talk about the most, and that is the Gigant Sword. Now, this is one of the only copy abilities for the sword that actually comes with a shield. It's kind of crazy how it adds an actually a complete new move to its entire moveset outside the sword itself. And this shield is a very strong shield, and I'm sure the rest of these swords also have really strong shields as well, but this one, I just, there's something about it. I just love the physical fact that Kirby is wielding a shield. But there's one thing that I needed to try since this game came out, and it's the shield against everything that could hurt Kirby in the game. Yes, I want to see if the shield can block Kirby from every single attack, obstacle in the game, or even boss attack in the entirety of the game. So I go throughout all these levels and try to see exactly what can hurt Kirby behind this mystical shield. So join me as we go on this scientific experiment of shielding, and let's see what happens. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Kirby and Nintendo in general. But let's get into it. To start our adventure, we have to go to Natural Plains, and the first thing that really gets us here is a woofy. Uh, obviously, we, we, we know how this is going to end. But the question is, what happens with one of these big guys? Absolutely nothing. Kirby's perfectly safe. Kirby also seems to be safe from any type of explosion, as well as the bombs from the Poppy Bro Jr. As he's just chucking these bombs at Kirby, no matter where it's hitting him on the head or in the back, he's just kind of blocking all the damage. Cannonballs, still not enough to break through Kirby's immaculate shield. Kirby can even shield himself from extremely strong bites from these turtle creatures, and even the mama turtle, which is kind of crazy, look how big that mouth is, but still Kirby's blocking himself from any further damage. Fire damage also seems to not be a big issue for Kirby, as he's just deflecting every single bit of flame, and even when it's a giant flame spit out by these guys, still nothing. And yes, not even this porcupine can puncture a hole through Kirby's crazy shield. He also can't be shot by anybody or anything, just like the cannons. And boulders that are falling from the sky still do nothing to Kirby, not even if he's right underneath them. The top of his hat is even sturdier than the shield, which is quite crazy. But what if we drop the king of all boulders on Kirby? Yep, even this giant massive boulder wasn't enough to stop Kirby and his magical shield. Now let's head on over to the beach and see if any of these enemies can stop Kirby in his tracks. And of course, it's not even close. Kirby just plows through everybody with this shield. But what about the alligators that are swimming in this water? Well, we see Kirby has met his match for the first time with these alligators because it seems like the command grab of grabbing Kirby overpowers the shield and actually gets Kirby. Yep, there's nothing the shield can do about this one. More bombs thrown at him in the water still don't do any damage, and the squids just bounce right off of him. And the bomber enemy might pack a serious punch, but the explosion is nothing for that shield. Gordos will also go straight through Kirby and straight through the shield as well without doing any damage to Kirby. And if cannonballs aren't going to do any damage, neither will throwing rocks. Let's head on over to the amusement park, and once again, nothing hurts Kirby's shield. These ghosts don't stand a chance. And neither does this ground-pounding bunny. No matter how hard it tries, it can't break through Kirby. Hopefully he's okay after landing on that spike on his head. But what if we drop a wall on Kirby's head? Surely this will do damage, right? Wrong. Kirby's helmet and his shield is truly a powerhouse that these walls can't even break through it. Well, what about the amusement park rides? Nope, they'd simply just go straight through Kirby like he's not even there, and just barely bumping him as they're hitting him. Even fast-moving robots and machinery is not enough to take him down. Let's go to the snow region real quick to see if there's anything here. We definitely do have these giant snowballs, but of course, if rocks and bullets aren't going to take them down, neither is snow. And yep, it just bounces straight off Kirby's shield. Now into the desert. This is a trick one because no, Kirby cannot walk on poison. Now of course, the shield and his armor is not protecting his feet. His feet is the only thing exposed, so this is kind of not fair. So yeah, it doesn't look like his feet's going to be protected during this adventure at all. But the mini Kabu and the big Kabu, once again, is no match for the shield, as Kirby can just push his way straight through them. Unfortunately, just like the giant alligators, the giant snakes are able to just gobble up Kirby, simple as that, because it is a kind of grab mechanic, and it doesn't necessarily count as an attack, it's gonna scoop Kirby up. Eh, it's so sad. Now, Kirby may not be able to walk on poison, but he can still deflect it when he walks up to the giant poisonous frog, you can pretty much just shove Kirby all the way into his tummy, and nothing will happen. You're completely protected. Well, if all the other enemies can eat Kirby, can the Pacto? No. 
actually, for some reason, it doesn't go into the grab animation where it tries to put Kirby in his mouth. It just kind of hits the shield and backs off and scared. This one kind of surprised me. It looks like Kirby's finally staying out of the mouth of his enemies. And if you try to drop giant rusty beams on Kirby, yes, once again, Kirby's just going to eat those up. Absolutely no effect to him at all. He's just going to power house through all of them. And we make our way to Redgar, the final stage, before we move on. Kirby, once again, cannot walk on lava the same way he cannot walk on poison. But the giant meteorites falling from the sky, still no match from Kirby. It's just his feet are the only thing not protected here. But falling lava rocks? Yeah, he's perfectly fine. I was barely able to make my way under a giant falling rock, and that still does not hurt Kirby. He's completely protected through the entire time, and not even a scratch. It's kind of crazy. But what happens when Kirby gets in the middle of two moving factory machines? Yep, Kirby's met his match again. He's not getting through those. And the same exact thing goes for the giant smashers. He's getting completely squashed. And even when Kirby's getting rushed at by all the Beast Pack members, he's still fine. Not even a scratch. In fact, Kirby's the one doing the damage with his own shield. And these fireballs, just like the ones falling from the sky, still do no damage to Kirby. Now this big one was too high to test, so we had to use the ladder, but it would keep bumping into the ladder every time. But if you listen closely, you could actually hear a tick from the shield hitting it, which means probably nothing would hurt Kirby from this fireball. Just like with fire, ice from Chili has no effects on Kirby's shield whatsoever. But then we make our way to the giant fiery Tortilding, which shoots these giant fiery pieces of building at Kirby. And of course, any flying debris is no match for this magical shield that Kirby wields. It absolutely does nothing besides push him back a little bit. Real quick guys, if you still haven't pre-ordered or purchased your copy of Mario Strikers Battle League, make sure you do so with my special link via Best Buy down below. It's in the description and it will help me out a lot. Thank you so much guys for your support. And if you don't want to purchase a game that's completely fine, just leave a like and subscribe. It also helps to support. Thank you guys so much, but let's get back on to the video. Next, we need to move on to the Battle of Blizzard Bridge to test out all the mini bosses and see if any of them are able to break through Kirby's Immaculate Shield. But we have to go up against the one that gave us this great power in the first place, Wild Edge. Wild Edge has some pretty big sword swings and he also can put up his own shield, but none of them will be able to penetrate Kirby's shield. He's just too strong. Flarina's attacks just blow wind straight off of the shield and it's no task for Kirby to dodge all of her attacks. Well, that is until she does her gust of wind that actually sucks Kirby in like a tornado. Yep, it has a command grab effect which just grabs Kirby straight from the ground and rips him up. Unfortunately, the shield can't protect him from that. While Bonkers can throw his hammer around like mad and even spin it around and throw those bomb durians at Kirby, but none of them will penetrate that thick shield. He's completely protected through all of his attacks. But then we get to Wild Frosty when he actually can't break through anything either with any of his snowballs or his ground pounds or his running at Kirby. But of course, Wild Frosty has a specific move as well, another command grab, which he's able to actually grab Kirby and eat him just like the rest of the characters were able to do that have this same animation. If Kirby's going to get tossed, he's going to get tossed, it looks like at the end of the day. Now I hopped into the Ultimate Cup Coliseum to fight the bosses, and we're going to fight the harder versions of all of them being the Phantom versions. And with Phantom Tropic Woods, believe it or not, Kirby is completely protected from any attack, being the whirlwinds that he shoots out and even the giant spike gordos and the giant blowing up coconut that fall from the tree. Kirby's completely protected. I even tried the roots that doesn't work or the popped up gate in front of him and the giant breath that he breathes that you normally have to jump over. He goes straight through it. It's kind of crazy. Now, of course, we know Goromondo has a command grab and of course it's going to grab Kirby. Not for a lot of damage, but it still breaks through that shield. But everything else is completely protected from Kirby. Kirby's able to block all the rocks, all the slaps that he does, and even the stomps and ground pounds, and even his super spin, and even the tornado cyclones that spin around it aren't able to get to Kirby. If it wasn't for that grab, Kirby will really be kind of invincible in this game. And of course, you can predict the same thing from Silly Dillo. Not even the bomb Kirby's can break through the shield, but that command grab with the cage is gonna grab Kirby. You can't block those grabs. But everything else is fair game. Kirby's actually able to block all of the different rolling sections that he rolls into him, and even the one where he brings up his dancing partner, Kirby just eats it like it's a cakewalk. Then we have Phantom King DDD. Absolutely nothing will break through the shield, and this is where you really get to see the pure power of this shield, because Gordo's flying at him, nothing. Any of the enemies that he sends at him, nothing. He'll dive after Kirby, nothing. Jump in the air, land on Kirby multiple times, still nothing. Slamming the giant pillars on Kirby's head multiple times and swinging it around, still nothing. And he'll even eventually bring up lightning and ice from the ground, 
And once again, we know Kirby's never protected from the feet, but still, he's able to even block this. King DDD really cannot bust through that shield whatsoever, at least not in this form. Claw Line decides to take her stab at it, and once again, nothing is breaking through this shield. None of her slices, none of her knives that she throws, nothing is going to reach Kirby. He's just going to defend it all, and it's actually pretty funny to watch her try. She'll try to slash you from across the stage and even spawn on top of Kirby, slamming her claws into the top of his head, but of course, he's blocking it all. Now, Meta Knight is a very interesting one and probably one of the most interesting ones. He has the ability to throw lots of different projectiles, you can block all of those, all of his sword swipes, everything you're going to block from Meta Knight, even the Phantom Meta Knight version, you're blocking it all. Nothing's going to penetrate that shield. Well, it is until he rushes you with his lift up attack. But did you know that if you turn the wrong way, he still will hit you, but if you face the shield towards him, it will work as a sword clash, which will allow you to do the clash prompt by slamming B. Only if the shield is facing him, though. So technically, Kirby's still fine up until this moment, but for some weird reason, when Meta Knight spawns the giant fiery blocks in the air, these will penetrate the shield and actually hurt Kirby. And actually, this is very weird to me, since nothing in the game like this actually hurts Kirby. None of the fire rocks, none of the meteorites falling down from the sky, none of them hurt Kirby, so there must be some type of lava effect on the floor that's hurting his feet, because I really can't see how any of this is getting through his shield. Forgo DD steps it up a bit by adding lava to his moveset, and this is how he's able to break through to Kirby. Yes, if Kirby steps on a lava, he will take damage, but there's more than that. He will also throw out lava pillars from his hammers, and this will also damage Kirby in the process as well. Kirby does not do good against lava. But the fire tornadoes will just bounce right off of him, which is very interesting. So if there's any move where Forgo DDD places lava underneath Kirby's feet, yep, he's going to take the damage for it. Forgo DDD also has a very rare attack where he will suck Kirby up, and of course it does get Kirby because it does work as a command grab, and you really can't do anything about it even with the shield, unfortunately. Forgo Leon will slash and claw his way at Kirby in every given opportunity, and even blast lasers and different type of projectiles at him, and even lightning, but none of them will pound through the magical shield that Kirby wields. Even his giant laser blast that shoots out of his mouth will not penetrate the shield, which is actually kind of crazy. However, when Forgo appears, he actually does have an attack to get through Kirby's shield. It's a powerful enough blast to just knock the copy ability right out of Kirby. There's nothing he can do about it, and this really isn't even a command grab. This is a pure attack, so Forgo has a sleeve up on Kirby. Morpho Knight also tries to slash and dash his way through Kirby's shield, and even his giant swords are no match, or even his giant rows of flames also won't go through, but for some reason the fire tornadoes actually do get Kirby and suck him up and catch him on fire, which is weird because the actual flames don't even do this, but everything else he throws at Kirby is no match. Kirby can also block his mind manipulation attack, which is very surprising to me because I thought for sure it would have some type of separate animation which would get to Kirby. Now with Fecto Forgo, you can kind of just sit there with your shield up and literally not do anything this entire fight and nothing will hurt Kirby. No matter how much he bumps into him, no matter how much he tries to bite him, and even with the different type of slime balls he shoots out, it just continues to bump Kirby all the way down the hallway. Really, there's no way of getting through that shield. And finally, we have Chaos Elphilus. Chaos Elphilus is a creature for sure. He will throw that spear around, shoot things at Kirby, even lasers, different types of spear stabs, everything in the book, but it won't penetrate the shield. That shield is actually powerful enough to block all the attacks from the strongest character in the game. This is where I really was like, man, any basic attack will not break through the shield unless it's some type of grab. Even his giant shadow version of himself from the background swinging the giant staff is not able to get through Kirby's shield, still, which is pretty insane as well. Even his attack where he opens up a portal from the sky and throws meteorites at Kirby, Kirby just eats them like they're nothing. Even the giant meteor that comes down, Kirby's still not affected by it, and if anything, he just scoots over from it and just pushes him across the stage a little bit. It's kind of insane. I guess Kirby's more powerful than the most powerful being in the galaxy right now, well, not exactly. When we get to Chaos Elphilus' soul form, yep, the suction does bring in Kirby and there's nothing he can do about it. I actually have never seen this animation because I never got trapped in here. He gets like sucked into a void and beat up. I've never seen that. I just thought it was pretty cool. But yep, the shield would not block Kirby from that. But when he's shooting lasers with his little orbs and all types of different projectiles at Kirby, Kirby will block all of them, even lightning strikes and even when he tries to slam on top of Kirby as a giant form. But there is another attack that will power through that shield, believe it or not. It's the giant fireball form it takes and rushes towards Kirby, it will knock him down. Even when he's standing on the ground with his shield up, 
there is nothing that Kirby can do to get through this. And this is the definitive list of everything that could possibly hurt Kirby from Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Now, most of these are grab attacks that put, you know, Kirby in a grab animation that's just different from an actual attack. So honestly, this shield is pretty daggone strong. It's going to block Kirby from a lot of attacks. But thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I had a lot of fun making this. If you have any other challenges or things that you want to see if they work, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to run through another one like this. But thank you so much. If you really enjoyed this video and you want to help out the channel a lot more, leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Kirby and Nintendo in general. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.